Hi, this is Cookie with Monique, and I was going to show you how to make a taco ring. I went to a friend's house, and she is a pampered chef representative, and uh, she made a taco ring. And I was, I liked it, and I, when I tasted it, I figured I could make it a little bit better, tweak it to my taste and the things that I like to do. Um, so far, this is what I have. I have some uh, a small dice of tomatoes, a small dice of bell pepper, onion, some shredded cheese, shredded lettuce, some ground turkey, and uh, for a little spice I'm going to do a small dice of jalapenos, but I'm going to take out the seeds. Slice it in half, get in here and take out your seeds. Proper way to hold a knife. Put your index finger and your thumb here. Rest your hand, your, your your finger right there. Some people don't know how to cut, and that's okay. It's the way I was taught how to cut. Not the best way for me, but I'm a little sloppy compared to some others. When you want to scoop up, scoop it with the back of the knife, so that way you don't dull your blade. Some prefer different kinds of knives. I prefer the chef knife and the paring knife. I always keep a clean work surface and never cross contaminate. You can do your vegetables on one, pre washed vegetables. Clean your cutting board. You can do fruits, wash, clean your cutting board. Um, your raw meats, uh, you need to make sure you have a different cutting board. If you need a cutting board at all, just wash your hands after each use um, to avoid cross contamination. Cool. Okay. All right, well, it doesn't matter what kind of brands you use, use whatever's convenient for you, whatever's cheaper. Um, I just got a store brand crescent rolls. Um, I made sure not got to, I made sure not to get the buttered flavor because um, I went when I went to my friends and she had the, the pampered chef party. I noticed she used the butter, the butter one. She didn't say, but I could taste it, taste it on there. To me, it was kind of a little too buttery for the the taco. All right, well, take your little bread. Or your crescent, if you want to say it. And roll them. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're going to want to put them just like this. Move this out the way a little bit. On a clean surface, of course. You're going to want to make like a star around it. Mind you, I don't know what the recipe is for this. I'm making it up as I go and by memory. I kind of want to pat it out a little bit. Alright, well you're going to need at least two packages of the crescent rolls. And I have a small cooking stone, so... I want to get a rolling pin. If you have something smaller, just to kind of, if you need a little flour, go ahead and put some flour. Just to kind of smash it a little bit, if you want to say. I'll make a, an, an, another circle on the inside, but now I'm going to go ahead and turn on my pan to about medium high heat.
I'm going to let it warm up. I have some taco seasoning. I use 30% less sodium. Better for you. Um, ground Camino. Some black pepper. Some salt. And I'm going to use the pepper, Pampered Chef Chipotle Rub um, to mix it in with the uh, ground turkey and a little olive oil, extra virgin, because there's really not much fat in the ground turkey, so it'll stick to your pan. So if, you little, you know, if you use a little virgin olive oil, it'll help not so it doesn't stick. All right, you gotta get your pan nice and hot, uh, probably about medium high heat, not too high though. You're gonna put in maybe about a, a tablespoon of olive oil just to get the bottom of your pan coated. And mix it all around. So that way, the turkey doesn't stick. Now, what I like to do is put my little onion in there first. Just saute it. That way, you're seasoning your pan a little bit. Alright, I'm going to add, I have my bell pepper and I have my jalapeno. So I'm going to kind of get my bell pepper in there. Leaving the jalapeno. I probably got a few of them in it, but that's okay. Now, if you notice that your bottom of your pan is getting a little dry, you can add a little bit more olive oil. Because once you put your ground turkey... There's no, there's really not much fat, so like I said, it's gonna stick to the pan. It's gonna get a little tender because as your meat's cooking, it'll get brown. Now, if you put your diced jalapenos in there a little too soon, it might uh, cause you to choke a little bit just because of the pepper. Um, as I said before, I, I believe the recipe called for just the ground ground meat, beef, or you could do ground turkey with a little taco seasoning, and it went from there. Um, and like I said, when I tasted it, I thought it was good, but I thought that I could make it, you know, stand out just a little bit more for my flavor. Alright, let's see. I'm going to add in the ground turkey. I'm going to use my new little chopper. Mix it in there. Mix it in just a little bit. Yep. Alright, well I forgot earlier to mention that I use garlic powder. You can use minced garlic if you want fresh. Um, I'm going to use a little garlic powder. I like to season it up as it's cooking so that the flavor gets in there. And I just kind of season to taste. I never really measure how much I'm using. So sorry. And I'm going to try the Chipotle rub from the Pampered Chef. Give it a little and I don't add the taco seasoning until just when this is done. That's just because I like a little different kind of flavor. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and add my little taco seasoning. Then you go ahead and as your package requires, is three-fourths cups of water. Go ahead and add it in there. In. Let it simmer just for a few minutes. So that way, the flavor that's in. And then we're going to add a little something different that wasn't added at the party that I went to. Add some well-drained black beans to give it a little different flavor. 